I'm saying hello today from a very interesting spot in Ontario from the Lang Pioneer Village just outside of Peterborough. And here with me I have an interesting local uh, personality, uh, Vera Penrose, who is a local artist actually, who runs the Kawartha Artist Gallery and Studio, is that right? Outdoor Painters. Outdoor Painters, wonderful. And please tell me a little bit about yourself and about the special event that's being held here today. Well, I, they put me in charge, I guess you could say, of the outdoor painters, so I kind of keep them informed as to where we're going, what we're doing each week. And so this um, is a group of painters that travels to places and paints at the same time? That's right. And oh. it's mostly, uh, we paint out in areas within, I would say, an hour's distance uh -huh. from Peterborough. We are from Peterborough. Okay. And so what uh, kind of spots do you pick? Well, Lang, we come here uh -huh. at least twice a year. Oh, in the good. Summer, okay, great. We paint out here. Uh -huh. We go to some people's homes. Uh, we do now in the fall. We go uh, elsewhere. We can mm -hmm. travel a little farther and uh, branch uh, cabins. And, uh -huh and uh, do that. And, and it's always outdoor painting right in yep. front of your yes. uh, the and objects that you're painting. When the weather is good. Yes. Mostly in the summer. In the mm -hmm. winter we're basically in the gallery. That's the fourth artist gallery in Peterborough. Okay. And uh, in our outdoor painter group alone there are about 45 members. Wow. Uh, all together in fact we have about 175 I think all together. Great. But so lots purpose. of art going on. Well, the Kawarthas is a beautifully inspiring area for art, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, it and is. lots of landscapes and barns and rolling hills and lakes. Wonderful stuff. Right. Well, maybe let's show some of the works that are on display here today. You just set, up, set this up today, right? Yes, we did. We just completed it now. So we've got some watercolors here by Lorraine Ryan. So we will see different techniques, I would imagine, right? Mm -hmm. Lilac Lane by... Oh, this is your work! Oh, look at that! All the information is on there, your email address, that's wonderful. I just came across a road like that today. It was oh, just beautiful. So we've got different collections here, different motives from streams to sort of waterfront motives to lovely old Gothic inspired farmhouses or churches. Winter scenes as well. So you can see, the, are these all different artists here on this wall? Uh, we have three of the same artists uh -huh. and then there are two, uh, two different ones. Two different ones, so you can see the different styles represented here. Kind of mix them up. Right, now here is something more on the colorful, little bit more abstract, not as, uh, not as representational. Eggplant by Jan Tang. This, what kind of technique would this one be up here? That's a watercolor. Watercolor as well. Uh-huh. And that's rubs too. Below. Yeah, nice. This is, must be what, oil? Yeah. Yes. Fall at Magnetowan. These are beautiful nature areas, aren't they? Magnetowan is the area we've been going to for the last six years in October. And it's kind of wild still, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's very nice, rustic place. That's right. Black River by Maydock by Krista Groff as well. So these three images here by Krista Groff. What else do we have on this side? Oil again? Yeah. Fitzgerald's barns. I love the barns in the area. Yes. So many of them are painted red actually, a lot of them, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. The Old Smokehouse by Jan Tang. She's got a very colorful style. And this is bedroom in the Fitzpatrick House. What is the Fitzpatrick House? The Fitzpatrick House is just over. Oh, here. it's part of the Pioneer it's Village. It's oh, part of the village. okay. Actually, some, many of these paintings are from the village. Really? The smoke as well. Very interesting. Now, here we've got some animal portraits of horses Joanne Carlin and inside horseshoes. <laughs> that is very interesting. Very, very unique type of art. I love it. It's a fun thing. Mm hmm. And these are watercolors. Susan Sidney, obviously a winter landscape. Sabine Scanlon, am I pronouncing that right? That's right. Okay, and another colorful one also by Sabine. 
in acrylic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Over here, it's definitely a farm personality. <laughs> Rusty at Griffin's Greenhouses by Sheila Stanley. This is a typical farm scene. Forgotten Barn by Susan Sidney. What is this one? It snowed in. I would imagine this area gets a lot of snow in the winter, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, that's for sure. More uh, farm scenes here. This one by Olga Zaransky. Very nice. Looks like oil. A couple of cats playing. Who's the artist here? Art Carter? Bob Carter. Bob Carter. Okay. And what type of technique is that? I do believe that's watercolor. Watercolor. Well. There might be ink in that too. Uh-huh. And this is more of a naive uh, type of painting style by, oh, by you. By me. There you go. Wonderful. Do you still see a lot of those old trucks around? Uh, not a lot, but there are some. Actually, my nephew has that truck. Really? Oh, it's your nephew's truck. That's great. And the Fox by Joanne Carlin. Wonderful. And two smaller uh, pictures here. Also by Vera. Look at that. Now, you must have a website. I mean, you sound like you're a very active artist. I don't have my own, but okay. the fourth artist does have a website, and all our artists are on that website. Wonderful. Um, what is the the website of your artists group? It's the fourth artist. Have I got see. it here? No, is it up here? Well, if people do a search, all they need if to search it's for the fourth artist. Fourth artist, and, uh, and they will find you. Wonderful. And you're here only for one day, is that no, it? No, we're here till October the sixth. Okay, great, excellent. So these images can be viewed not just today, but until October. That's right. That's great. That's right. Thank you so much, Vera. Thank you.